All right, fifth graders, we're going to do a, um, like a photo booth cartoon strip thing. So what you need is a piece of white paper and you're going to want to fold it in half. Just like that. Now, if you have a pair of scissors, you could just cut down so that you don't have two pieces, but some of you might not have scissors at home. Um, so you can just leave it like that and just have it folded. And that'll just be sitting in the back, okay? But if you do have scissors, you can cut down the side and then you won't have it. But it, it's not a big deal if you don't. Once you have it folded, you're going to want to fold it again. Oops. Sorry, I'm doing it one-handed because I'm videotaping. Just like that. And then fold it again. This should give you about even um, four rectangles just like if you went to a photo booth you would have usually four photos so now you have um even four photos um fun fact i bet you didn't know that miss roach was ambidextrous that means she can use her left hand and her right hand pretty well so um there's one two three four so then if you have a pencil or a sharpie um to work with that would be great you might want to do this in pencil first, but I want to do it in Sharpie so you guys can see it. You're going to draw on that folded line. Um, so that you can break up the four sections, just like that. Okay, so now I got a little wonky, um, but I am holding a phone and it's kind of hard to draw with holding a phone. So I have four sections. So in each of the sections, you are going to create... Um, a character or two characters that are getting their photo taken at a photo booth. All right. So I would love for you all to come up with your own characters, um, but you're more than welcome to look online at a few ideas, um, especially if you're at home virtual, you can do that. But if you're not and you just want to come up with your own ideas, that's great. I would always just start with basic shapes. So maybe one of my characters will be round and one of my characters will be square and they're going to be friends. So this character is going to have round eyes that are really big and they're going to have a really big mouth and maybe I'll make it a girl and I'll give it a bow tie or not a bow tie, boop, a, um, a bow up for the hair. And this character, maybe their eyes are always oval and one is always a little bit bigger than the other and maybe this one is not as always so laughy goofy and maybe it has more of like a weird mouth and maybe this one also has spikes on the side see how it's kind of simple just to come up with a basic cartoon character you don't have to be so detailed if you want to that's fine but then that's just one photo section now you have to come up with a second photo so maybe in this photo they both agreed that they wanted to be really goofy. So maybe they'll, this one will have her tongue out. <clears throat> and maybe he <clears throat> will, let's see what he can do. Hmm. Maybe he will have his mouth open or no i'll put his tongue out too but maybe his one eye will be closed so he'll be blinking okay i got a little messy there i'm sorry so then you have to come up with another idea maybe in this one um maybe they both have like angry faces or something so, maybe something like that, you know, just something basic. It doesn't have to be detailed, but I would like you to do, if you have time, to go a little bit more detailed than what I'm doing. So, I'm just trying to show you some basic um, things. And remember to come up with your own character, all right? Don't, don't, um... You don't have to copy my character. I would like you to come up with your own. Maybe in this one, they switch places. And maybe 
they're actually boyfriend and girlfriend, so maybe they're actually in love. So I'm gonna make them in love. So you can do all kinds of stuff. I suspect you're still gonna be on that way. Maybe I'll make him Maybe I'll just leave it like that. That's kind of cool. So see how it's four different photos in each. And then you would go ahead and color it and make it nice and pop. So this is kind of like pop art. Um, and pop art is when you do something that's popular. So photos are really popular. Getting your photo taken, taking selfies, making funny faces. They're all popular things to do. But cartooning is also really popular. So when you color this, I would really like to use bright colors because you'll notice that pop art is full of bright colors. All right, so use bright colors. So sometimes you can use the colors the opposite of the color wheel. So if you use like purple and yellow next to each other, they'll make it'll make it look brighter. Or maybe you use blue or orange next to each other. So pick your brightest colors, take your time, have fun. I miss you guys. Bye.